Joe here, how are you? Welcome back to my channel for those of you who know me and for those of you who don't know me, if you just stumbled on, upon my channel or you were attracted by the thumbnail of uh, what this video is about, my name is Joe and I do a lot of uh, decorating videos and seasonal videos and other kinds of things and I guess for those of you that don't know me are thinking this guy does decorating videos. Uh, yeah, I do. I know I'm a little bit of an anomaly here on YouTube because most of these decorating videos are done by uh, young women and uh, mostly in a farmhouse style basically is a lot what we see and I'm neither one of those things. I'm an old man, uh, but I love doing this kind of stuff and uh, I love making uh, our house uh, a home and some place that we love being. So, um, you know, if you're interested in seeing stuff that I do, why don't you check out my channel and take a look at all the videos I do. I do a lot of things like for Christmas and for the fall and, you know, stuff like that and do-it-yourself kind of things and, and whatnot. So take a look at it and hopefully you'll enjoy the content and think about subscribing to my channel. I'd really like for my channel to start growing. It's been stalled here for... A long long time now and um, I would really appreciate getting the the, uh, the word out about stuff that I do in this video what I'm going to be doing is I'm making a topiary for the dining room and I actually saw a picture of this I believe somewhere sometime and I, I really thought it was a neat thing to do and basically what it is it's using a candlestick uh, candle holder I mean and it's a topiary of a bird. Now, I made my bird uh, very uh, like uh, end of spring, summer looking, but this is something that can be done over for all the different holidays. So, you know, I'm thinking in advance, like maybe in the summer I can turn, change out the roses that I have in it for uh, maybe Shasta daisies, uh, and in the fall, possibly mums, and in the winter, I can make an all white bird, you know, if I want. Um, usually I get tired of things right away and I don't tend to redo stuff, but um, I kind of like the way this turned out. So in this video, you're going to see how I started uh, the whole project and I started to put these mini daisies in and actually it kind of looked haphazard. It kind of looked like a bunch of weeds growing out of, the, out of my topiary. So I stripped it all down again and I restarted again and I did it with a very pale pink kind of a rose and also a little slighter, deeper pink uh, hydrangea. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. It's an easy project. It can be the star of the room if you'd like it to be, and that's how I'm doing. I have everything else in my dining room kind of parred down for the summer, and that's the main attraction in the room. So once again, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like what you see. Drop me a comment. You know I love hearing from you, and I hope everybody's doing well. So I hope you enjoy the video. All right, so we're going to get started uh, with this. I'm going to use this candle holder first because I, I like this because it's tall and slender and it has a little bit of a garden feel. You could also do it even with a chunky candle holder. I was thinking like a white chunky one and then the, the, you know, the bird all in white maybe for the holidays or, you know, if you have it all... Uh, white look in your house, it might be something you can use. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this because I'm doing that garden theme for uh, the, the spring and the summer. And I'm going to use this block uh, that I have. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this here to make the body of the bird. Now, you know, you could hot glue it on there. I'm not going to do that because I don't want, uh, you know, it just becomes a pain later when I want to use this for something else. So I'm going to put painter's tape around this to hold it on. So what I did was, I had this painter's tape, so what I did was I used it to secure it to the top of this. Now, and you can do whatever you want. I mean, you can hot glue it, you can glue it, you know, whatever works best for you. But like I said, I'm probably going to use this candlestick for something else, so I don't want it to be permanent. 
Next thing I did was I went to get this to find one of these. It was just tough. I mean, because who uses these anymore? But if you get, you know, get stuff from the cleaners, you will have it. Uh, no more wire hangers. Do you know where that's from? <laughs> um, anyway, so I'm going to use this to make the neck and the head of the bird because you can see that'll represent like where the beak is. And then I'm going to cut this and use it uh, for the neck and the head. So as you can see, I just, I, I kind of like just, um, you know, bent it back and forth, back and forth. And that actually made it uh, snap because I was trying to use this and it really didn't work. So the back and forth and back and forth did. So now I just have to straighten it out a little bit and then I'm going to insert it in and make the neck and the head. Okay, so you can see here's my head and here's my neck. And what I did was I bent this in to go into the styrofoam block. Please, please wear gloves when you do this because, you know, when you're working with these wi this wire hanger, these edges get very sharp over here. And I don't want you to, you know, uh, scratch yourself or anything like that. So please wear gloves. I don't have them on, but, um, you know, just a word of warning, please do that. You know, any kind of these, these little sharp edges where you, where you break this stuff off get sharp. So you want to make sure you wear gloves and protect yourself, please. So because the, you know, because this is top heavy, what I did was, well, after I inserted it, I added this clear plastic tape. Now I kind of like really uh, secured it this way and here and so on. And I'm going to do a little bit more and I'm going to put a little dab of hot glue in here as well to try to hold it in place. Let's see how that works. So here it is so far. And what I'm going to do right now is I have this like vine kind of uh, floral thing and I'm going to use that to wrap around the neck and the head so you can basically use whatever you have if you have ivy <clears throat> if you have you know whatever you, you know I'm using what I have like I'm still not going out so this is what I have this is what I'm going to use let's see how that looks I wrapped my vine up and um, up here, I actually, I added this little bit of, I had these like little floral bells here. So just to accentuate the head, I put that on the end. So, I mean, you can do whatever you want, but that's what I did. And just so you know, I had to use a uh, floral wire in here to manipulate this, you know, where I want it. Uh, because, you know, it's going to twist and turn to different places. So next I'm going to do the tail before I do the body. I have this really nice full pick. For those of you that, you know, follow me, it's from one of my, uh, from that $4 grab bag haul from uh, Michael's before all of this crazy garbage happened. Uh, so I'm going to use this as a t the tail so it'll kind of give it a very uh, peacock kind of a look. So what I did was I just inserted it in the back and you can see it's nice and full hanging down. And uh, now what I have to do is I have to get some florals to fill in this whole area right here. Okay, so I'm going to start using these uh, leaves that I have, this little bunch of leaves, and I'm going to cut them into individual sprigs. I'm going to just cut those and then place them in because I want to fill the body up with uh, some greenery to hide the styrofoam block. So as you can see, I'm just... Uh, broke it up into little pieces and I'm going to be pushing it in. Now, again, I don't, I didn't have that many left over and I really didn't want to waste what I have because I wasn't quite sure if I was really going to like this. So, you know, I'm kind of apprehensive always when I start a project. Usually the second time I do something, it comes out way better because I have a better knowledge of you know, just how much I need and what I'm going to be using and how it looks. So, I mean, for my first attempt at this and for the supplies that I had on hand, um, it came out okay. Um, I'm, I'm happy with it, but um, I'm sure the next go around, uh, it's going to be a little bit different and it'll probably be a little bit more full. So you can see right now, I'm just showing you that um, I had to cut off some of the uh, tips so that they would easily go into this styrofoam block. 
So it's starting to fill up there, as you can see. Next, I had these uh, little mini daisies, and I thought it would give it a really summer look. So uh, the little bit that I had, um, I cut again into, into workable pieces so that they would hug the body of the bird a little bit more. They were a little bit tough to get through. I don't know why they were. They were a little bit thick. Uh, they were actually part of another flower arrangement that I had taken apart uh, a long time ago. And I thought, you know, hey, I, I really never use these mini little things. Let me see how they look in here. So um, I'm begin, beginning by placing them in the neck area. And um, right now, you see, I'm working around the neck of the bird. So already I should have got a hint that they were going to be a little bit too small. And you can see it already. It looks like a bunch of weeds in there. I really don't like the way it came out, but uh, I'm going to continue with it at this point right now. I had this idea that these uh, coleus leaves might look good as the uh, wings of the bird. So I'm going to start placing them in on the sides. I wanted it to kind of drape down like the wing was, you know, slightly down because I have the head of the bird turned looking at its body. So, you know, perhaps, you know, to give it a look like it was just going to go under its wing for, you know, some of the oil to spread on its leaves because that's what birds do. But, you know, already I'm looking at this and I know in my, you know, in retrospect, I'm looking at it and I'm saying, this looks really garbagey and I'm going to wind up taking apart. But uh, I, I thought perhaps by adding in this wing by some uh, magic, uh, it was going to look a little bit better. Uh, but, um, you know, as you can see, I'm continuing along. But you don't want to, you know, this is a good hint. You know, you don't want to use too many different kinds of, of florals because it just kind of gives it a... Um, a not even kind of a look. So here I am, I'm trying to make the best of it by adding in these leaves to make the wings. And uh, very shortly, oh, I'm, I'm telling you right here that I'm gonna add a piece to a piece of more greenery to kind of add to the tail because I wanted it to look more uh, peacock-like. So once I get it in there and I stand back, that's when I get the full look. And there's a hint, as you're doing these topiaries, always stand back. So there you go. I took them all out because I really hated it, hated the way it looked. So what I'm going to do is um, I went up in the attic and I found a little bit more greenery and I'm going to add it to make it a little bit more full. I needed the body to be a little bit more rounder and a little bit more fuller. So um, I'm adding in more leaves. Now I had these pink, very pale pink roses. So I decided I'm going to use these uh, sparingly throughout the body. I think I only had six or eight of them. I really don't even know. We'll count them as they go in. There's the third one right there. Um, but I thought it gave it more of a very like simplistic, summery kind of look. It almost kind of had like a a, a flower, a, a bridesmaid kind of a look when I looked at it. Uh, you know, when it was done, just very simplistic, uh, very clean. And I think that's what you want to go for because the, the topiary makes a statement on its own. So you don't want to overdo like I did before and just have it look like a pile of weeds. You want it to look more uh, professional and more elegant looking. Well, at least I did. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm adding in the sixth one right now. I'm trying to figure out the best placement for them. I keep standing back to take a look at it so that I don't wind up with a big mess again because if I was going to take it apart the third time, the whole thing, the whole project was going to end. Uh, so there's number seven rows right there. And I'm looking for the best place that aesthetic to my eye where it should be. So I'm sinking in those roses into that styrofoam. And um, do I have another one? I don't remember. Yes, I do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's number eight right there. So I'm going to put that in up by the neck area once again to uh, just, I'm going to step back to take a look to see if that's where it should go. 
I'm probably cutting a little bit off that edge. I think that one was a little bit too long and I wanted it to be a little bit more tight to the body of the bird. Yes, that's exactly what I did. You know, you got to you got to keep manipulating these things in order for it to look the way you want. And again, it's got to be pleasing to you. And here's my bird. Here's my topiary. You see the beak up there with those floral bells and then the neck with the ivy. And then if you notice, I added in a little bit deeper pink hydrangea just to, so that the pink flower can play off of another color. And then you see I have the long peacock tail from my bird. Now I have it on this corner piece here in the dining room and you can see I put an up light under it so that it just highlights it because like I said I wanted it to be the start of this room. So um, I think it has a really neat look to it. It is very um, wedding-like looking and um, I'm really enjoying that. So you see the rest of the dining room I really parted down for the summer. I just have some very uh, you know um, greenery on the top of the china closet. I have more cedar uh, greenery on the table because that's very common in this area and I have my apples out around there and that'll be my design for the summer. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, like always, you know I love hearing from you. Drop me a comment. Give me a thumbs up. And if you try this project, good luck. Okay, everybody, take care. And I will be seeing you really soon. Take it easy.